Hi, welcome back to Singer's Piano. My name is Billy Gullner. I am the creator of this course. I am super excited to have you joining us for this completely free online piano course that is designed to have you singing and playing in as quickly as possible. Once again, this is just a reminder that all of the course materials are in a course pack just in the description below. Please like and subscribe to this channel. Please let me know in the comments below if there is something you would like covered in a future week, or if you have any questions, I will respond in the comments below. Without further ado, let's get to it! Alright, so we're going to start today by learning our G major scale. Last week was all about C major, and we learned our C major scale. This week we're going to start with our G major scale. So you find G, which is this pitch here. G major has one sharp, which is F sharp, and you can see that in the key signature on the page. It's that sort of hashtag symbol. That is the original hashtag symbol, which means sharp. The line that it falls in both the treble clef and the bass clef is on F sharp. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go through and we're going to play our G major scale in our right hand. So it goes G, A, B, then goes under for C, D, E, F sharp, G. And then it comes back down. G, F sharp, E, D, C, third finger over, B, A, G. This is the same fingering pattern that we had for C major. We're just at a different place on the piano. Now let's do that again. G, A, B, thumb under for C, D, E, F sharp, G. G, F sharp, E, D, C, third finger over for B, A, G. Good, let's do that again. G, A, B, thumb under for C, D, E, F sharp, G. And then back down. G, F sharp, E, D, C, third finger over for B, A, G. Very nice. Now you say the note names and I'll play along with you at the same time. Good! Now let's learn G major in our left hand. It's the same fingering that we learned for our C major scale. Again, we're just starting at a slightly different place. So for our G major scale, you couldn't really play it at any of the Gs. We're going to start down here on this very low G. So it goes G, A, B, C, D, third finger over to E, F sharp, G. G, F sharp, E, thumb under to D, C, B, A, G. Good, let's do that again. G, A, B, C, D, third finger to E, F sharp, G, and back down. G, F sharp, E, thumb under for D, C, B, A, G. Good, one more time. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, and back down. G, F sharp, E, thumb under for D, C, B, A, G. Good. Now let's do our right hand together. So starting on G. One, two, three, four. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. G, F sharp, E, D, C, third finger to B, A, G. Good. Now let's do our left hand. So it goes G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. G, F sharp, E, thumb under for D, C, B, A, G. 
Nice, so that is our G major scale. Now we're going to learn some pieces in G major. The first piece is relatively simple, and you'll notice that it starts in our right hand, and then the same thing actually repeats in the left hand. So in the right hand, our hand is in this position here, and our left hand is actually going to be in this position here. So it starts going, I'll play through it once for you. One, two, three, four. G, A, B, C, D, 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 C, B, A, G, G, G. Other hand goes G, A, B, C, D, 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 C, B, A, G, G, G. Good. Now we're going to do that a little bit slower. So we'll just go over our right hand. So it goes one, two, three, four. G, A, B, C, D, D, D. D, C, B, A, G. G, G. Good. Now you do that with me, saying the note names out loud. Three, four. Good. Now this exact same thing happens in the left hand in this G major position. So let's go over the left hand. One, two, three, four. G, A, B, C. play the whole thing from the beginning to the end. One, two, three, four. 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 Now that piece was relatively simple, and it's about to get a little bit more complicated. So this next piece here, in the bass clef, you can see that we have these sort of lines that go across like this. Those are what we call ties. When you see a tie going from one note to the same note on another bar, that means that you hold the note for the, the value of both of them. You're combining it. So a whole note gets four beats, and then it's repeating, so it gets another four beats. So you're actually going to hold those whole notes for eight beats total. So in your left hand, you've got the low G, and you have a D. And you're just going to hit one, two, three, four. It's tied for another four. Then that repeats two, three, four. It's tied two, three, four. Hit again, three, four. It's tied two, three, four. Again, then it is still tied so you hold. So the left hand is actually relatively simple for this piece and we're just learning about what ties are. So let's do the left hand together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's tied two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's tied two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's tied two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's tied two, three, four. Good. Now let's take a look at our right hand. So our right hand is in the same G major position that we were in for the last piece. And we start on D. So it goes one, two, three, four. D, C, B, A, G, two, three, four. G, B, A, C, B, two, three, four. G, C, B, A, B, two, three, four. G, D, B, A, G. Good. 
good. Let's do that again, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. 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 Good. Now let's do that again, this time saying our note names out loud. One, two, three, four. 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 Good! Now how did you do saying your note names out loud while I was counting? If you need to go back and repeat that again, just scroll the video, video back a couple of seconds and see what happens. Now let's put these hands together. We're going to go nice and slow. I'm going to count. One, two, three, four. 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 Good. Now let's do that again, and this time we'll say our note names out loud. One, two, three, four. D, C, B, A, G. Two, three, four. G, B, A, C, B. Two, three, four. G, C, B, A, B. Two, three, four. G, Now let's do that one more time. One, two, three, four. D, C, B, A, G. Two, three, four. G, B, A, C, B. Two, three, four. G, C, B, A, B. Two, three, four. G, D, B, A, G. Nice. Now let's do it one time, just a tiny little bit faster, and then we will move on. One, two, three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Now let's take a look at our next piece. All right, this next piece is a little bit tricky, but don't get overwhelmed. Let's go over our left hand first. One, two, three, four. G, A, B, D, G. Two, three, four. G, A, B, D, G. Two, three, four. G, A, B, D, G, two, three, four, and then it goes D, C, B, A, G. Good, now let's learn our right hand. Our right hand is in the same G major position that we were for the other pieces. So this one we start on measure two. So we'll start, it goes one, two, three, four. G, A, B, D, G, two, three, four. B, C, D, C, B. Two, three, four. G, A, B, A, D. Two, 
G. Two, three, four. Good. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four. G, A, B, D, G. Two, three, four. B, C, D, C, B. Two, three, four. G, A, B, A, D. Two, three, four, G. Good. Now this might look really complicated, but we are going to put these hands together. If you don't get this on the first try, that's okay. That's why we practice. So here we go. One, two, three, four. G, A, B, D, G. over that again nice and slow. One, two, three, four. 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 Good. I know this piece is quite challenging. Let's give it another go. One, two, three, four. G, A, B, D. G, A, B, D. G, A, B, D. B. C, D, C, G, A, B, D, G, A, B, A, D, C, B, A, G. Nice. Now let's do that one more time. This time I will just count and you say the note names out loud. One, two, three, four. One, two, Three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Good. Now I promise you that's the hardest piece that we're doing today. So now we're going to move on to something a little bit simpler. Okay. This next piece is a little bit simpler and it has our right hand in the same G major position we were just in. Our left hand is in the other G major position, which is this one just here, just around middle C. So it starts at this G. So we start in our right hand and it does a little bit of the leaping that we did in the last piece. Uh, so let's give this a go. So one, two, three, four. G, B, A, C, B, A, G, B, D, C, A, B, A, G. Other hand goes the same thing. A, C, B, A, G. Then it goes B, D, C, A, B, A, G. Hello, Peanut. Hello. Hey, sweetheart. Hello. Hello. I'm glad you decided to come into this room and join us again. All right, let's go over that piece again nice and slowly. We'll start just with our right hand, okay? One, two, three, four. G, B, A, C, B, A, G. Then B, D, C, A, B, A, G. 
good. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four. 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 Hi, Peanut. Okay, now let's do that just in the left hand, nice and slowly. One, two, three, four. 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 Good, now let's say our note names. One, two, three, four. G, B, A, C, B, A, G, B, D, C, A, B, A, G. Good. Now let's play the whole piece from the beginning to the end. One, two, three, four. Alright, now let's say our note names out loud while we do this. One, two, three, four. G, B, A, C, B, A, G. B, D, C, A, B, A, G. G, B, A, C, B, A, G. B, D, C, A, B, A, G. Good. Let's do this one more time with counting. One, two, three, four. 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 Very nice. Great. Now that we've gone over our scales and our pieces, let's learn our chord progression for this week. The chord progression is the same chord progression that we learned in C major last week. However, this time we were in the key of G major. So we're going to be learning new chords, but the finger movement is the same. This is why that idea of voice leading that we talked about last week becomes important. So we're starting at a G major chord, so our notes are G, B, and D. Good. For the next chord, B minor, our thumb's going to move down to F sharp. We have F sharps because we're in the key of G major, and so there are no F naturals. We only have F sharps. Good. Let's do that again. So it goes G major, and then our thumb goes down to F sharp for B minor. And then our thumb goes back up to G for G major. Good. For E minor, our pinky goes up to E. Good. Let's go over just that much again. One, two, three, four. G major. Thumb goes down to F sharp for B minor. Thumb goes up for G major. Our pinky goes up for E minor. Good. For our next chord from here, from E minor, our middle finger is going to go up for C major. And then from here, from C major, our thumb is going to go up to A for A minor. All right. Let's do just that much again. So we go back to G major. One, two, three, four. G major. Thumb goes down for B minor. Thumb goes back up for G major. Pinky goes up for E minor. Middle finger goes up for C major. Thumb goes up for A minor. Good.
good. Now from here, we have that same jump that we had last time to our G7 chord, except now we're jumping to our D7 chord. So our thumb goes to F sharp, our second finger goes to A, our fourth finger goes to C, and our fifth finger goes to D. There's our D7 chord, and then we end on G. Good, let's practice finding our D7 chord again. So it's F sharp, A, C, D, and then end on G. Good. Let's run over our chord progression one more time, nice and slowly. One, two, three, four. G, then your thumb goes down to F sharp. Then it goes back up for G. Pinky goes up for E minor. Middle finger goes up for C major. Thumb goes up for A minor. Everything jumps for D7. Then you end with G major. Good. Now that might have been a little bit fast, so let's go a little bit slower. One, two, three, four. G. Then your thumb goes down for B minor. Thumb will come back up for G. Pinky goes up for E minor. Middle finger goes up for C major. Thumb goes up for A minor. Everything jumps for D7. Then we end with G. Good, let's do that one more time. One, two, three, four. G, two, three, four, B minor. Thumb goes up for G major. Pinky goes up for E minor. Middle finger goes up for C major. Thumb goes up for A minor. Everything jumps. For D7, then we end on G major. Good. Now let's learn our left hand. Good. So our left hand, we're going to start on G, but down here, the low G that we were at before. So we're going to start on this low G, and uh, one, two, three, four, it's G. Then it goes up to B. Then it goes back down to G. Our thumb goes up to E. Then our second finger hits C. Then our fourth finger hits A. Then our thumb hits D. Then we end back on G. Good. Let's do that nice and slowly again. One, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. B, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. E, then we go to C. Then we hit A. Then our thumb hits D. Then we end with G. Good, let's do that one more time slowly before we put our hands together. One, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. B, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. E, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. A, two, three, four. D, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. Good. Now let's put our hands together. So let's give it back a G major here. We've got the low G in our left hand. So it goes one, two, three, four. G major. Then thumb goes down for B minor, thumb goes back up for G major, pinky goes up for E minor, middle finger goes up for C major, thumb goes up for A minor, everything jumps 
47, then we go back to G. Good. Let's do that again, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. G major, then our thumb goes down for B minor. Thumb goes back up for G major. Pinky goes up for E minor. Middle finger goes up for C major. Thumb goes up for A minor. Everything jumps for D7, then we end on G. Good. Let's do that one more time. One, two, three, four, G major. Thumb goes down for B minor. Thumb goes back up for G major. Pinky goes up for E minor. Then our middle finger goes for C. Thumb goes up for A minor. Everything jumps for D7. Then we end back on G. Good. Now I'm just going to count while you say the chord names out loud. One, two, three, four. progression for the week. All right, so our sing and play homework this week, I have chosen the song Hot and Cold by Katy Perry. Once again, the reason why I have chosen this song is because range-wise, it will fit in the range for most female voices. Even if you have to sing it in a slightly more head voicey place, it will work. And for male voices, you could easily sing it down the octave. So we're going to go through and we're going to learn it. We're going to start with our right hand. So it starts with G major. Good. And then it goes to D7, which we just learned. So that's fingers 1, 2, 4, 5. And then it jumps up to A minor. And then from A minor, your thumb's just going to go down to G for C major. Good. Now let's go through that again nice and slowly. So it starts on G major. Then we jump to D7. Then our hands jump for A minor. Then our thumb goes down for C major. That's it, right? So one, two, three, four, G major. Then we jump for D7. Then our hands go to A minor. Thumb goes down for C major. Just like the songs that we learned last week, this is a cyclical chord progression, which means that these four chords repeat over and over and over throughout the entire song and that's all you have to learn. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four, G major. Then we jump to D7. Then fingers move to A minor. Thumb goes down to C major. Then we're back to G major. Hands jump for D7. Then we move for A minor, thumb goes down for C major, then we're back to G major. Everything jumps for D7, then hands move for A minor, thumb goes down for C major. Good. Now let's learn our left hand. So our left hand is down in this low G area, you can see that on the page, and we're going to start. So just like the pieces we learned last time, the bass line is just hitting the root of the chord. So when we hit the G, you hit the G. When you hit D, you hit a D. When you hit the A minor chord, you're hitting an A. And when you hit the C major chord, you're hitting a C. So it's, uh, the bass line is a little bit less complicated because we're just hitting one note generally. Eventually, it will get more complicated, but for now, we're just keeping it nice and simple. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, D, two, three, 
three, four, C. Then that repeats G. Two, three, four, D. Two, three, four, A. Two, three, four, C. Two, three, four, repeats. Then it goes to D. Then we go to A. Everything bumps up for C. Then it ends on G. Good. Now let's put our hands together. So again, we start G major here. We have this low G here. One, two, three, four. G major. Everything jumps for D7. Then our hand moves for A minor. Thumb goes down for C major. Then we're back to G major. Everything jumps for D7. Hand moves for A minor. Thumb goes down for G. Mm, then we're back to G major. Everything jumps for D7. Then we move for A minor. Thumb goes down to G for C major. Then we're back to G major. Now let's do that just a tiny little bit faster. One, two, three, four. G major. Everything jumps for D7. Hand moves for A minor. Then we go to C major. Then we're back to G major. Then we jump to D7. Then our hands move for A minor. Thumb goes down for C major. Then we're back to G major. Hand jumps for D7. Then our hand moves for A minor. Thumb goes down for C major. Then we repeat and you go to D7. Hand moves for A minor. Then we go to C major, and we end on G. As I mentioned last week, I won't be singing in these videos because I don't want there to be a copyright infringement on the songs. But you can't copyright a chord progression. As such, there are millions of songs that use this exact chord progression that was used in Hot and Cold. So now your songwriting homework this week is to write a song using this chord progression because you can't copyright a chord progression. If you could, every songwriter would be sued from here until the millennia because we only have so many chords that we can work around and they can only be reorganized in so many ways. And yeah, it, I could only imagine how crazy songs would get if you had, could copyright a chord progression. Everyone would have to use really bizarre altered chords. So your songwriting homework this week is to go through and write a song to the chord progression from Hot and Cold. Once again, this is a very common chord progression that shows up in pop music all the time. It is our one, five, two, four chord progression. It's very popular. It's not the most popular one, but it does show up a lot. Thank you so much for joining us for Singer's Piano today. I hope you had a great time. There will be another video out next week, so keep your eyes posted for that. Don't forget to practice. You want to practice about three to five times a week. The best way to practice at the beginning when you're developing proficiency is probably to just pull up this video and play along. Once you feel more comfortable with the material, maybe halfway through the week, then you can just go along with the material from the course pack that you downloaded in the description below. Uh, once again, thank you so much for joining us. Please like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like covered in a future video. Like always, peace and have a great day.